Hey, so we got a good question from someone in chat. So they asked, I still need to figure out how that one guy did the sub alerts going to Discord. So what Grant's talking about is in a streamer showcase video that I did uh, a million years ago, um, Rex Boards did this really cool redemption where he has like a digital printer. It's like the printer I have in my stream, but it's like a digital version where it like animates like this, right? Which is cool. But then this, that's the cool part. It prints out the little digital sub receipt and then it sends it to Discord. So here's an animation where it goes, gets sucked into the Discord logo. What's actually happening is, um, what's actually happening is that image actually gets sent to Discord. And so he's asking like how to actually do that part. So we're not gonna do all of that because that's like super complicated. Um, but what I'm gonna show you is how you can send stuff like text or images over to Discord, okay? And we're gonna do that inside of StreamerBot. So just like for today, we're gonna keep it simple and we're just gonna like send text to Discord. Um, so, uh, but once you know how to do this, you'll be able to like send images and stuff and then you can build upon it to like do other crazy stuff for your stream, but we're gonna keep it real simple, okay? We're gonna like, we're gonna have like a channel point reward that you can redeem and then like the text will just get sent to Discord, okay? So we're gonna open up a uh, streamer bot. So I think this is only available in the beta for streamer bot at the moment, but it turns out, um, we're just gonna make a new, uh, we're gonna make a new action and we're just gonna call it, uh, an example, okay? Uh, it turns out there's like a new thing. I think only in the only in the beta right now, go sub action, you can add a Discord action. And there's a thing called basic webhook. This window is here how, this is like the window uh, where you can like send stuff over to, uh, to Discord. So uh, what does any of this stuff mean? I'll be honest, I don't know what this webhook name, uh, username stuff, like I don't know what any of this is, okay? But this webhook URL is like the most important thing. So like, what is this? So if you go to your Discord channel, go to go to your Discord and just choose any channel like where you wanna send stuff to. So like in my example, uh, just for now, I'm gonna use, uh, well, I'll make a new channel, okay? We'll just make a, just a, I don't know, we'll make this private and we'll call this uh, example. Okay, you can do this on any channel on Discord, right? So pick a channel, go right click it, go into edit channel, go to integrations, and then create a new webhook here, okay? So this is how StreamerBot is gonna communicate with your StreamerBot, yeah? So that's gonna talk to it. So we create a new webhook. We're gonna call this one uh, Harambe Bot. You can name it anything you want. Um, it doesn't really matter. You can also give it a cool icon. So this is like, this is going to be the name that appears whenever stuff gets, you'll, you'll see what I mean. Whenever stuff gets pasted in discord, this is the name it's going to use. You can put a profile picture if you want. I'm not going to do that. Uh, just click copy webhook URL. Well, we'll save it. Click webhook URL, copy it and just paste it in here. Uh, <sighs> If you guys want, you can type in my webhook URL. I'm gonna delete it anyway, so like, good luck with that. <laughs> uh, just type that in there, and then for the webhook name and URL, I haven't tested it. I'm assuming you just match it, so we're gonna call it Harambe Bot. I don't actually know what happens if you don't match it, but I'm pretty sure this works. Uh, and then for content, you just like type in the like the text that you want to be sent to Discord. So we're gonna keep it simple. We're gonna put like pre-made text here. We're gonna say like, um, um, uh, bricks out for Harambe, okay? And then uh, press okay. And that's basically it. And then now we just need to figure out a way to like run this action. Um, so I'm gonna create a, I'll create like a uh, text command. We're gonna call this just a, Whenever I, I type exclamation mark Harambe, 
it will run uh, that Discord example. Okay, select, and I'll just do deny so only it works. So it's only gonna work for me. So when I type exclamation mark Harambe, uh, it should automatically post that text to dis Discord. So we're gonna test it out. This could be a huge fail. Harambe. And there it is. So now when I like type stuff in chat, if I type that uh, command, it's gonna put whatever I put here. So now that we like know how that works, then we can just substitute the text here with like a variable. So uh, if we go back here into action cues and history, um, where is it at? Where's her, here it is, example. And then right click, go inspect variables. We'll see what we have access to here. So. I want to get the text that said, uh, I want to, yeah, raw input's what we want. So basically if I type exclamation mark Harambe, everything off, uh, anything, sorry, I almost spoke Australian just now. I was going to say after, like my Australian accent is going to come out. Um, everything after Harambe, we want that to be pasted to Discord. So uh, we want the raw input variable. So... Um, we're going to go back to actions here and instead of bricks out for Harambe, we're going to put percent percent raw input. Okay. Which means everything after our command will be put here where it says raw input. Press okay. So now if I go to chat and say Harambe, Wow, this is amazing technology. It should type that out into Discord, which is cool. Um, and of course, like it, it could work for screenshots as well. I'll be honest with you, I've never actually tested this before. So like, I'm, gonna, I'm acting like I know how this part works, even though I've never even tried it. Uh, there's a section here for image, which I'm assuming if I just like put in any image I want, let me just go to my screenshots folder. Let's 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 put this picture of Pokey here, yeah? Put that there. And I think if I understood it correctly, uh, if I just do the same thing now, let's see, uh, here and type in Harambe. OMG, is that Pokey? And then press that should paste the image. There it is, paste the image right to Discord. So you can imagine like, if you wanna do something like Rex boards where, sorry, let me pull this back up. If you wanna do something like Rex boards where it like sends a picture of, you know, a fake sub receipt, something like this, then, you know, you'd add on to your macro where you like build the picture of this. However, like, if you don't know how to do this part, like we can cover that in another video, but like you build something like this in OBS or streamer bot, and then you take a screenshot and then like you'd send that screenshot over to discord using uh, this webhook thing here. Does that make sense? I did like go through that like bit like whatever. <laughs> I hope that made sense, but like, um, you should be at a point now where you can at least send basic text, text and basic images over to, to a Discord channel. And then you can like do fun stuff, like uh, you can set up permissions for your chat to like view these images and like rate them and stuff. Um, there, there's lots of things you can do with this like Discord streamer bot integration. For, for example, what I've done is I've created a command where if I say clip that, so I, I, I've, I've set up a voice command where when I say clip that, it's gonna take a Twitch clip. It's gonna, like it's literally making a clip right now. And then after it's created the clip, it will automatically post the link to that clip into my Discord server. So in a few seconds, unless this com completely fails, it posts a link of me like saying everything I just said. So we're gonna open this up right here. I hope that made sense, but like, um, 
You should be at a point now where you can at least send basic text, text and basic images. Sorry, to double audio. To a Discord channel, and then you can like do fun stuff like uh, you can set up permissions. Just, just for good measure, we'll do it twice, okay? Just so we, you know it's not a fluke, okay? Ready? Okay. Clip that. So my my voice command is creating the clip, and then it's gonna post it's gonna post it to Discord in a second. Without me having to do anything. Unless it doesn't work, which will be really embarrassing. <laughs> yeah, okay, there, done. Um, so yeah, hopefully that was useful. Uh, if you like that, that's great. Um, now you owe me money on Patreon. So go, go give me money on Patreon. And then if you give me enough money, then you can get access to a whole bunch of widgets I've made for, uh, for you guys. So you're welcome. Um, yeah, other than that, get the hell out of here, okay? Go watch another video, preferably mine, because that would be cool. Thanks.